I'm Julian, Senior Vice President with JLL Hotels and Hospitality Group. I'm here to provide you with a quick snapshot of the Singapore hotels market for the second quarter of 2023. Singapore's tourism industry continued to recover with 5.15 million visitors arriving in the first five months of 2023, representing 66% of 2019 level over the same period. This surpassed the 1.5 million visitors reported for the first half of 2022. While the average length of stay grew to 3.9 days, it is noteworthy that Singapore has achieved a significant milestone in the second quarter of this year, as it surpasses the 1 million mark in monthly visitor arrival for the first time since 2019. The Singapore Tourism Board forecasted 12 to 14 million international visitors for the full year of 2023, more than double the 6.3 million in 2022. Indonesia was the top source market for Singapore in the second quarter, followed by India, Malaysia, China and Australia. It is important to note that the Chinese market has returned to the top five, given the reopening of the borders. Luxury hotels maintained their strong performance in the second quarter, with an occupancy of more than 76%, an average daily rate of $481 Sing dollar and a ref bar of $365 Sing dollar. Occupancy is three points higher than the same period in 2019, and ADR has exceeded its 2019 numbers by 19.5%. The upscale and mid-scale segments continue to lag behind 2019 level in terms of ref bar as those are still directly impacted by the lack of Chinese tour groups in the city. In Q2 2023, 653 rooms entered the market, including the 303 key Mondrian Singapore Duxton and the 350 key Pan Pacific Orchard. Based on JLN latest research, we expect approximately another 1,100 rooms to enter Singapore hotel market by end of 2023 excluding proposed government land sale site earmark for hotels. This signifies a growth of 3.8% in comparison to the total number of rooms at the end of 2022. The hotel industry experienced a decline in transaction activity during the first quarter of 2023, primarily due to the instability in the debt market. Although the global economic slowdown and disruption in the capital market may temporarily suppress hotel investment activity, we anticipate strong performance throughout 2023 to continue due to the high demand of international travel and limited growth in hotel supply. Furthermore, with a significant amount of debt maturing soon and a substantial amount of available capital, there will be increased opportunity for hotel investments. Buyers who have ample financial resources and rely less on borrowing, such as high net worth individuals, and family offices, we have an advantage in acquiring high quality assets. Singapore remains an appealing choice for global investors due to its status as a prominent financial hub and a thought after destination in Southeast Asia, along with its reputation as a safe haven during uncertain economic and geopolitical times. Overall, we expect transaction activity to pick up in the second half of the year as the debt market stabilizes. Thank you for watching this quarter's Hotel Real Talk. We'll see you next quarter.